Bioreactors are vessels where live organisms such as microbes and mammalian cells can be cultured and grown for a variety of uses, including drug manufacture. In order for these organisms to survive, specific conditions need to be met by controlling oxygen concentration, pH, temperature and dissolved nutrients. The vessels themselves are usually cylindrical steel tanks with a rotating impeller located inside to keep a steady flow of well-mixed nutrients and gases. And it turns out this process of mixing is crucial to produce healthy cells and organisms. Mixing is useful for a number of reasons. First of all, to maintain the cells in suspension. Um, secondly, to actually mix the nutrients and maintain them um, in homogeneous concentration of, in, of uh, nutrients into the, the culture. Um, very importantly is um, mixing and uh, the impeller rotation is uh, um, very important to actually disperse the air gas inlet into very small bubbles that's essential for oxygen transfer because the gas phase needs to be the bubbles needs to be dispersed first inside the liquid phase and then they need to be of a smaller size as much as possible to actually uh, facilitate the cells uptake of oxygen which is um, very important to, to leave but the use of impellers to mix the contents of the vessel means it's crucial to understand the turbulence and forces created by the rotating impellers in order to discover any stagnant zones or shear stresses. If we took a cells, for example, inside the bioreactor, the cells you know, at a specific location is actually subjected to a number of forces that can be tangential to the surface, so the so-called shear stresses, or uh, normal to their surface, which is you know, basically pressure in uh, normal stresses. All these forces um, are actually, so cells are subjected to, this, to all this, um, these forces inside the bioreactor, so quantifying them would actually help to maintain the actual stress is quite low at the level that the cell can um, actually bear. The techniques used to monitor fluid flow generally use lasers to visualise what's going on. One example is particle image velocimetry, which uses lasers synchronised with high-speed cameras and can be used on small-scale models of bioreactors to see how the particles are moving inside. The laser usually produces two pulses at a known time interval and produces um, a, a light sheet focusing on, uh, on, on a certain area, which is a cross-section of uh, the bioreactor. The camera focuses on that area, takes um, two images, um, and the camera is actually synchronized with the laser. Um, these two images are then analyzed by the via a computer are then analyzed by the via the PIV software uh, which is able to cross correlate the two and uh, calculate the average uh, space traveled by each particles um, the velocity can then be found um, at a quite a high special resolution um, inside the, the measurement um, laser sheet and uh, by using obviously the, the, the space travelled by each particles divided by the known time interval at which the images were taken. This insight into particle velocity and fluid flow rates can lead to better design of bioreactors, which will prove useful in a variety of industries, such as the pharmaceutical industry. One thing that, for example, we, we found, was found recently was that there are a number of instabilities inside bioreactors, which are basically vortex processing around the impeller shaft at a certain uh, frequency, which depends on the impeller frequency. Now, um, by adding, for example, a feeding pipe you know, in, at specific locations, uh, then we could, for example, decrease the mixing time, which is the time needed to achieve uh, full mixing by up to 50%. Another um, thing that is, um, these studies are useful for is definitely scale up. By, knowing, by having a, a much improved insight, insight into the fluid dynamics at such a small scale, this help, really helps when you, know, you then want to translate the, the performance of the cells from a 2 litre scale or a milliliter scale to uh, an industrial up to 150 to 100 litre scale.